Electric mobility is sustainable only if batteries are recycled when they have reached the ends of their lives. Quite a few companies are currently working on methods of recycling as much material from the cells as possible. One of them is located in Wendeberg near Braunschweig in Germany. Dusenfeld recycles lithium-ion batteries efficiently, safely, and, this cannot be emphasized enough, eco-friendly. The business was founded by Christian Hanisch. He's going to take us on a tour, although cameras are strictly off-limits within the hallowed production hall. First, the battery packs are placed on an assembly line where they are opened and broken down into their constituent modules. The metals and plastics from the outer casing are sent for conventional recycling. It is on this conveyor belt that the modules meet their end, dropping into a shredder below. The shutter closes because the crushing process takes place in a vacuum or in a nitrogen atmosphere to prevent anything from igniting, even though the cells are actually discharged. Dusenfeld uses the remaining energy in the batteries to power its shredder. The rollers mercilessly grind the valuable raw materials into tiny pieces. At the end of the process, all that is left of the aluminium, lithium, cobalt, and copper is a dusty pile of granulated material. All of this ends up in plastic bags. However, one part of the cells has already been reclaimed. Once the material has left the shredder, the liquid electrolyte is evaporated and condensed. It then runs out of the machine as a clear fluid. The electrolyte flows into a large metal tank and finds a new use as a base material in the chemical industry. The next stage of recycling takes place in this sorting system. The granulated material passes through a screen, an array of magnets, and a cyclone filter. Materials such as aluminium, copper, and the plastic from the separator film are extracted on the way. All that remains at the end is a fine gray powder, which contains the really valuable raw materials. Everything that has happened up to this point is not actually what Dusenfeld really wants to do at its production hall in Wendeberg. At the final stage, there should be a network of containers with shredders and sorting systems to recycle batteries decentralized. Shredding will take place wherever the batteries are collected. That will mean that there will be no need for costly and time-consuming hazardous goods transport the granulated material will not be able to ignite. This Dusenfeld method makes it possible to lower the carbon footprint of the production of new lithium-ion batteries by around 40%. The final step takes place at the Dusenfeld laboratory. This is where the hydrometallurgical process begins. Put simply, that means an acid bath. Here, the valuable materials are eluded and separated from the gray powder. These include graphite, as well as manganese, nickel, and cobalt. Dusenfeld also manages to reclaim the lithium at sufficient purity to allow it to be used directly in new cells. Overall, 96% of the module materials is recycled. Dusenfeld processes 3,000 tons of batteries per year and has patented the production of eco-friendly battery chemicals from end-of-life batteries. Hanisch is on the hunt for a chemical site suitable for reclaiming raw materials on an industrial scale. The first container-housed shredder system has already become a reality. That is how Dusenfeld reduces the carbon footprint of lithium-ion batteries significantly by 40%. The reuse of battery modules in stationary energy storage systems after their first life in electric vehicles reduces the carbon footprint further. That is why Dusenfeld and others provide tested batteries for that purpose. On one condition, these batteries have to be recycled eco-friendly.